morning everybody in this video we're going to talk about solar some of the advantages of having it and what we use it for stay tuned In preparation for going full time, Angie and I installed 670 watts of solar panels on the roof. As you can see up there, I've got two of them tilted. I purchased these, this system from AM Solar, for the most part, out of Oregon. And uh, they're a great company. I uh, ordered it all online. It was delivered to the house. Um, it came with pretty much some instructions some wiring schematics on how to run everything then of course it was up to me on on exactly how I did that so after making the climb up the back ladder onto my roof you can all see and it's obviously apparent from my drone footage that there's quite a bit of real estate up here but I ended up mounting my four panels as such now all of my panels are, are tiltable and as you can see I've tilted two of them that just helps uh, make the panels a little bit more efficient depending on the angle of the Sun and they're all wired in parallel over to the combiner box that I put right there so these two panels up front were actually in the first kit that I purchased uh, they're both 180 watt panels which gave me 320 watts and then I, I ended up purchasing uh, the the, pan, the third panel right here. Uh, this is actually a grapes a grape solar, and it is a 180 watt panel. And then I contacted AM Solar again to uh, complete my my array with this panel right here, uh, which is a Zamp uh, 170 watt panel giving me again a total of 670 watts up here and my MPPT controller uh, that maxes it out if I was going to add any more panels up here I would have to run another solar array uh, and then include another solar control or down in the uh, the bay to, to run it all so the heart of our power system are the four 6 volt batteries that I have contained in that box. I purchased that box from a marine supply store. The batteries uh, give me 460 amp hours of, uh, of reserve. Uh, for those that uh, know much about it, basically you can use about 50% of that. So realistically I have about 230 amp hours of usable uh, usable energy those are wired through the shunt that you see um, and then of course my solar converter which is the 3024i blue sky MPPT uh, solar controller uh, well solar charger and then I've added the 2000 watt inverter now that 2000 watt inverter I've run lines uh, into the kitchen which I'll show you in some pictures and then behind the TV and I run a leg of power up behind the TV so that uh, during the day or into the night we can watch TV off the battery pack instead of having to fire up the generator uh, what you're seeing there is the yellow extension cord is what actually extends out to the inverter and then I've, I've plugged that into a little power strip that allows us to plug the TV in. Uh, there's a phone charger plugged in there right now. One of the other things that I actually did with the trailer was, was put in a 12 volt DC plug. As you can see, I was kind of surprised that that wasn't put in from the factory. Um, that plug allows us to plug in a fan. Uh, that we utilize up here in the, the living area when it gets warmer to, to kind of circulate the air cool down the uh, the trailer So one of the big advantages of having the inverter and the solar is that in the morning in order to survive 
I have to have my coffee. And what I have done is I ran a line and put in a plug that is actually behind the pantry that's hooked straight to the inverter. And then I've run basically a power strip up from the back so that uh, we have several outlets right here on the side of the pantry and then uh, turn the inverter on and I'm able to brew myself life-saving coffee first thing in the morning using the power of the batteries a jazz that's important right jazz yes that's important coffee is important we also use the inverter to plug in a little space heater where we can take uh, the chill out of the room using the battery power instead of the propane furnace cooking French toast of course one of the many ways that we consume power is Curling your hair in the morning. <laughs> hey, it's important. The IPN monitor that I've installed allows me to really geek out and maintain uh, some pretty good control on what's going on with the batteries. As you can see here right now, we're, we're pulling in 27 amps of solar. Uh, if I scroll over... What that's actually showing me is the input from the solar is 25, the output's 31 because the MPPT controller actually incorporates a boost uh, when the batteries are down. Right now our batteries are at 90% and uh, we're 39 amp hours from being full. And of course, because the sun being what the sun is, the weather being what the weather is, we don't always have sunny days. So we do have a 2000 Honda as backup. I really don't like to run my battery bank down below 80% so that if I, I see that it's getting down to that area, uh, I'll, I'll fire up the generator to give kind of a charge. We also have another Honda 2000 uh, that I utilize occasionally so I store my generators uh, and uh, the I can parallel the two generators together to give me 4,000 watts on those occasions where I may want to run the, an air conditioner. It won't run them both but it will run one air conditioner uh, it's actually the reason why we bought it. We were camping at Glendale. It was 100 freaking degrees and uh, it got he got a little bit uh, a warm inside the trailer. So I went and bought the other generator so that we could cool things off, make it a little bit more reasonable. I hope you've enjoyed our video on how we manage and use our power, which include our batteries, our solar, our inverter, and occasionally our generators. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, get to know us a little bit better by subscribing to our channel. And we'll see you on the road.